Let's talk about peach trees and their buds. Like all deciduous fruits, peaches have two basic bud types. Vegetative buds that grow a leaf or a branch that will have leaves along its length and fruit or flower buds. But they're a little more complex. First of all, there's a distinguishing difference between palm fruits, apples and pears, and stone fruits. The fruit buds on palms are a compound bud. That is, when the bud opens, there'll usually be a cluster of two to six individual flowers with a vegetative growth shoot in the center. That's the way they roll. And it's quite a lovely sight, but it also involves a lot of thinning. If I have five flowers that give rise to five fruit on an apple or pear, I have to thin four of the five. It's very time consumptive and somewhat exacting. Uh, stone fruits are different. Their flower buds are solitary. That is, it just has one single flower. Or if it's a vegetative bud, it just has a leaf. And this is where the complexity is involved. They take it another step, and that is, although they're still solitary buds, they will often have three buds tightly packed side by side. The center one is a vegetative bud, often breaking green, you'll see that. And the two flanking ones are flower buds. So let's look at vegetative buds, a solitary flower, and then the triparted bud system on this peach here. If you look along this one-year-old shoot here, you see the little green tip, and that is the state that we're at. Often people call it green tip. <laughs> uh, the tree's busting out of dormancy, and that's an exciting thing, of course. But these are vegetative buds. Um, if you look over here, or here, or here, these are solitary flower buds. This one is open. These two are about to pop. Oh, let's look up one. Here is one that opened, got pollinated, and is at petal drop. And if I were to flick this, and it, re it would remain, let's see if I can. That means we got pollination, we got fruit set, it's good. If it hadn't been pollinated, it would have dropped to the ground. Let's look at the triparted arrangement that peaches also exhibit. If you look here, you see that. There's a center green tip. That's a, ve a single vegetative bud flanked by two beautiful, I might add, flower buds. So the tree just has a bunch of different ways of expressing itself. Let me also say that when it comes to thinning, as difficult and tedious and time consumptive and exacting as it is with palm fruits, apples and pears. It's a piece of cake, a day at the beach. You just come down the stem on stone fruits and you flick, flick, flick. They have good spacing. There's just one fruit at each site and they're very easy to thin. Let's look at budswell on peaches, the harbinger of bloom, which is followed by fruit. Peaches produce on young wood. They produce their fruit on young one-year-old lateral shoots. And that's what we have here. Last year this grew, this year it's flowering and fruiting. And if you look, it starts at the tip. You've got bud swell here, as evidenced by this kind of silvery, a little bit furry, formation on the bud and as you see working down the shoot you're good. Usually the base of the shoot is the last to come out of dormancy. So this bodes well for a big bloom.